Beard of Bad, Mode of Logging was with me. So we're starting a new series called Why You Should Get a Motorcycle college edition reason number one that, that why you should get a motorcycle for college is the cheaper costs in getting the parking decal at my school it's a little more than half the price to uh get a decal for your motorcycle versus for your um car other schools it's usually like a fourth of the price my school is just stupid reason number two is going to be convenience Parking at my school, as I'm assuming a lot of schools, for cars fills up really fast. There's not as many motorcycle um, riders, especially at my school. So at least in terms of uh, being close to my main courses, you have two convenient spots right here. Just one bike. The most I've ever seen there is three, four with my bike. If that's ever full, you actually have... Stupid drivers. Another area right there. And each main building actually has um, a set of motorcycle only spots, so you don't have to worry about cars taking it up because it's just uh, for motorcycles. Um, usually, those spots are also conveniently located next to the entrance of the building, not always. Like, um, for one building, it's actually relatively far away. Reason number three is also monetary related. It has to do with fuel prices. It is cheaper to fill up your motorcycle than it is for your car. It, especially if you've got a bike like mine, the CBR500R. Um, these are extremely efficient bikes. I call it like the Prius of motorcycles. It gets easily 50 plus miles per gallon um, if I'm really easy on it and I'm going slower speeds I can get closer to 60 miles per gallon on average another reason is that you actually have the opportunity to meet a lot of cool people by having a motorcycle you see the other riders who are going to either class or school with you and that automatically becomes a friend group for you that's especially helpful if like you're newer to college that's just like an easy way to get into a group of friends without much effort just by having a bike if you're living oh here's another reason if you're living like um at one of like i guess like uh like a sorority or a fraternity or um some other like house close to college that you're sharing with other people and parking's limited um if your area doesn't mind you can actually just park right on the grass or right on your porch like if it's your property, especially if you have like a lot of other people with you and parking's limited, that's a great that's a great thing for you. Now, what are reasons why you shouldn't uh, get a motorcycle for college? If your main reason for getting the motorcycle is to impress other people, no, don't do it. Do it because you enjoy riding motorcycles, you enjoy the benefits that they offer you, and that you find it convenient and fun to ride and things like that. Don't do it because you want to Im impress a bunch of people. Another reason not to do it is, um, might be like, there's limited motorcycle parking and your school only lets you park in motorcycle parking. I would scope out to see what the motorcycle parking situation is first. Ask someone who maybe rides a motorcycle to see what it's like. Another reason not to get a motorcycle, which I think is really important at college, is if you plan on doing, um, a lot of long commutes and you need to haul a bunch of uh, stuff all the time for whatever reason um, I don't know hauling stuff to your new apartment you're doing a lot of shopping um, obviously a car is gonna be more convenient it's like I'm saying if you can only choose between a car and the motorcycle um, the car is gonna be more convenient in that sense especially if you need to carry a lot of things likewise if you plan on if someone, I don't know what you guys are doing, you need to share a ride with someone. You can't obviously have a lot of people on your motorcycle too at most. And most times you wouldn't want to have anyone but yourself on it. So that's another reason why a motorcycle might not be the most convenient form of transportation for college. Another extremely important reason would be weather. 
if you live in a place that has really bad climate all the time um, either the weather is extremely unpredictable it's always raining it's always cold it's always freezing and things like that um, conditions that you're not very comfortable riding in it's probably best not to get the motorcycle especially if you're going to class you obviously don't want to be extremely wet and things like that another reason relates to gear if you um if you're like me and you're wearing all the gear the jacket the helmet um i usually wear boots there's going to be certain situations certain days where uh having all that stuff is going to be inconvenient where are you going to put all that stuff i lock my helmet to my bike so that's not much of an issue but what do i do with my jacket well, luckily, um, my school has um, a coat rack, so I just uh, add this to the coat rack there, and that's not too bad, but um, if I have to ever have to go from that building to another building, um, the other building doesn't, other buildings don't have the coat rack, so I gotta carry the jacket around with me all the time. This kind of brings me to another point, theft at some campuses is a big deal. You obviously don't want to get your bike damaged or stolen. That's a very possible threat, especially if you're at like a bigger, I guess, like city school where crime is uh, more common. Like I actually had um, my GPS holder stolen. Nothing was in the GPS except for my parking decal. My parking decal was only good for like another two weeks, so I don't really know what was the point. Uh, it also depends on where you're living as well. If you're living in like a, I guess an unsafe neighborhood, you're probably not going to want to have a really nice motorcycle and things like that. Which is why I'd suggest, actually, um, you probably want maybe like a used or not so new bike or not very expensive bike. And you want to have it insured pretty well in the event that it does get damaged or stolen. Like there are going to definitely be some days going back to weather where, again, the motorcycle is not going to be the most convenient form of transportation, especially if it's raining and wet outside and you don't feel like wearing waterproof pants. Where are you going to put all that stuff afterwards and how are you going to dry off between when you park and go to class? And it's going to be more dangerous when you're riding in those conditions as well. Um, so I'd say with situations like that, yeah, a motorcycle is not going to be very convenient. Um, there are days when... I ride dirty and I uh, actually take my car and hope to God I don't get a ticket. So far I haven't. Yeah, if you're, uh, say you're in a situation, I don't know what, like you're taking an extracurricular class. Like I wanted to take a music related class. I wanted to get better at guitar. Um, I play guitar at home. I enjoy playing guitar and playing music. I was hoping to um, do band related stuff this semester, but um, I'm not gonna haul my guitar on a motorcycle and I'm not going to get a parking decal just so I can for a car just so I can do that so I was not able to do activities related to that another I guess less is common reason if uh, maybe you're a newer rider and you're not as comfortable um, riding in bigger cities and things like that if your college is located in a big city and uh, maybe you're not used to it or comfortable at all riding in situations like that where it's super crowded and busy and um, more traffic and things like that and maybe you don't feel as safe on your bike maybe that's a good reason as well not to get a motorcycle for college or ride your motorcycle to college so those in my opinion are some uh some key reasons why you should get a motorcycle for college ride a motorcycle to college and some very important reasons why you might want to consider not getting a motorcycle for college as well i i decided to make this video because I was looking for a video similar to this and um, a lot of these points are mentioned in other videos but I wanted to add some of my own experiences as well to it. I know I have a lot of um, either newer riders or people who are already riding either thinking or going to college and don't have their motorcycle yet so I wanted to make this video uh, in order to explain those reasons to them. Hopefully you like this new edition. I'm going to try to um, for different situations explain why I think um, a motorcycle would or would not be um, a good fit for whatever you're trying to do. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful guys. Um, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked give it a thumbs down. If you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, like I've been saying I got a lot of cool content coming up. 
I've got a lot of free time now. Like I always say, if you're local to the Virginia area, hit me up. Um, especially summertime, I'll be free. If you guys want to meet up and do a ride and things like that, that'll be fun. Share the video if you know someone who's going to college and thinking about getting a motorcycle for college. If you found the video entertaining, whatnot. Blah, 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 blah. And, um, well, until next time, guys, ride safe. If you haven't got a motorcycle already, this is going to be a great channel to... Uh, uh, help see if a motorcycle is going to be a good fit for you. And until next time, guys, of course, as usual, peace.